Okay, good evening, and this is the short video about taking messages recorded for our EPA 1 night class for spring of 2023. Since we've lost a couple of classes, the longer classes, the Mondays, and we have a little bit of catching up to do. So if you go to the CTL, uh, for this week you'll see this telephone message forms. Now uh, after I make this recording, you'll see that the video recording is going to be on the CTL also, but it's not there yet. Anyway, okay, so we click on telephone message form. And as I quickly showed in the classroom, there are some message forms. I put an image of it here on the CTL. Uh, there are four forms here. I also put those four forms as a download PDF. There's also another form, slightly different, only black and white. And there's four on that page so that if I want to print them out, for example, for the final test, I could do that easily. Let's take a real quick look at that one. And I need to move things around a little bit. They're all the same, so uh, let's just shrink this a bit and you can see better. Uh, oh, please. You can see that there are four. One, two, three, four. And these four are all the same. And they're not so different from the four we're going to look at. So those other, the four we can see in this image are also uh, in this PDF. The third thing on this page is the script. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But first, let's just make these a little bit bigger so that you can see well. And I'm going to walk through these four forms. Each one is a little bit different. So as I showed in the classroom when we were using the book, I held up a piece of paper for you and I said those four forms you see there, all print on one piece of paper. paper. And the color's not too good right now. I'm, um, all the lights are on in my office and everything. The colors are a bit off. But there's four on this A4 paper. That's about normal size. And uh, in the U.S., if you buy these, they come in a pad of 50 sheets. And you write on one and you tear it off. And you give it to person. Some systems have a carbon paper, that black paper that goes inside. So when you write on the top paper, the next paper underneath also gets writing. So there's two copies. Anyway, that's the form. So let's take a look here. And you see it says memo, telephone message, date, not your boyfriend, date as in today's date is May 31st or May 31 time, well, we could write 8 p.m. or we could write 20, 100, 20, the 24-hour clock. Taken by, who took the message? Who's writing this message? So uh, the staff person in the office who's writing this message, they are taking a message. So taken by. Uh, from, who is the caller or who is the person who is leaving a message? The message is from Professor Robert Dickey and the message is going to you. So I'd write your name. If I'm calling and I want to leave a message or if I visit and I want to leave a message, the message is to. This is the same like email, right? And then subject, again, just like 
uh, email. It's nice to write something very, very short that explains uh, what this message is about. This particular blue form is equally good for telephone or somebody else wants to leave a message in the office. Equally good. So the subject, a few short words. Uh, maybe something like about the ABC company order. ABC or company order change. Something really short and simple. Okay, next we have this idea of importance. What about this message? Is it urgent? Okay, urgent, one translation into Korean would be something like you know? uh, It's something that needs to be done quickly or somebody will be hurt or die. Or it's something that needs to be done quickly. Urgency is about quickness. It's not about uh, very, very important or very low important, but it needs to be done quickly or it can be delayed a little bit. The next box is low priority. Priority means firstness. So low priority means uh, take care of it later. It's kind of the opposite of urgent. Confidential means something like secret. Right? Don't tell everybody. And the fourth box says shred. Shred. That's not Shrek, <laughs> the, the movie. Shred is when you tear something into tiny little pieces, like long, little, tiny, thin pieces of paper, so that no one can read it. It's so confidential, we have to destroy it. Okay, and then in this blue form, it just says message. Write whatever you want to write. The good thing about this form is it also says action required. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Boom, boom. Okay. Action required. In this case, we mean. Uh, come down, come down, mouse, come down. Uh, what do I need you to do? Uh, many message forms don't have this, so it's kind of interesting. Then it says sign. I think signed is useless. It's kind of silly because we wrote taken by up here. So I don't really understand that. But uh, some places do that. At the bottom of this form, you see this tiny little type. It's really hard to read. It basically says something like supplied by cherry printers or whoever produced this document. Uh, absolutely not important. Let's take a look at the second form. I like this one better. This one says, while you are out. While you're out of the office. And it starts with four. Who is this message going to? The date, the time. And this form gives you a chance to circle AM or PM. A little bit less to write, you know, 24 hour clock. Doesn't matter. The idea is, who is the message for? And what time is this message taken? What day, what time? While you are out, M. M is a way to say you should write Mr. or Ms. and the person's name. So, Mr. Robert Dickey. Or maybe it's Professor Robert Dickey. It doesn't matter. But the M is just a hint that you want to write Mr. or Ms. or something like that, perhaps. Then it says of. Of means what company? So Robert Dickey of Game Young University. In our night class, we have somebody from Kepco. So we might say, you know, John Doe of Kepco. All right. Then we've got a couple of check boxes, tick boxes. If somebody leaves their phone number, you write the phone number and you check a phone. If they came in, if it's a message that came by fax, you would check the fax box, write the fax number, and maybe we would have to attach the fax that came in. I know fax is not so popular. Or maybe somebody is saying, please answer by fax. So they give a fax number. The third one is mobile or mobile. It means a cell phone number. And for these, we have area code, number, and extension. Area code. What's the area code for Daegu? Gong O Sam. So the area code for the phone. And then the main phone number. 
And then, as we mentioned in class, in some big companies, every phone uh, goes into the main switchboard, the main telephone number, and then you have to ask for an extension. So, please connect me to extension 315. So, if my system requires an extension, then you can write that down. It's a little strange here because I don't know any mobile phone that uses an extension, but the same concept, area code, number, and extension fits for phone. Okay, the good point of this uh, message pad is it has lots of checkboxes. So if somebody phoned, check the box. But if instead of phoning they came to see you, check the box. If they phoned or if they came to see you, maybe they want to see you, check the box. Or maybe you called them and now they're calling you back, they returned your call, check the box. Sometimes in America we talk about telephone tag. Tag is the children's game. I run up and I touch you and then I run away and now you have to go touch another person. Right? You're it. No, no, no. You're it. So that's, that's called tag in English and so sometimes we say telephone tag. That means I telephoned you. You weren't here. So you telephoned me but I couldn't answer the phone. So then I telephoned you and maybe you're not able to come to the phone, and so back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Similarly, we could say, okay, so he telephoned, he returned your call, and he's asking you, please call me. Or maybe he's going to say, I'll call again, you can't call me. I'm out in the field, I'm busy in meetings, it's too hard to call me, I'll call you back later, I'll call again. Or urgent, remember the other pad had an urgent checkbox here's urgent and this one says special attention that means uh, you really need to think about this it's not an ordinary message then room for your message and again we have this signed box which I don't understand it doesn't make sense to me why there should be a signature okay let's go down to the fourth one this one's really brief telephone message to from company instead of of it says company also, is my company Gaming University? Yes. Then telephone number and extension. So remember to ask for a telephone number, maybe an area code, and an extension. Some check boxes. Please call. Return your call. We'll call again. The message. And then the information that was on the top on this one is on the bottom on this one. The date, the time, who took the message, and the importance. It didn't say... Uh, urgent it just says hi very important or somewhat important or low important the fourth one Move the box back there's an urgent box right on the top so if it's important we all know the date the time and to who to whom right who's the message going to who's the message for from what person's name, what company, what's their telephone number, maybe what's their fax number. Now these are old forms, so it doesn't say anything about email. So maybe uh, you would want to ask somebody about their email address, or somebody wants to tell you their email address. Same kind of check boxes, telephone, call to see you, wants to see you. Please call, we'll call again, and return your call. Take a message. The operator, the person who took the message. And blue line again, no so we have four forms, and they're much the same. So what are the key questions we're going to want to ask? Because on your final test, I might give you a form, or I might give you a blank piece of paper. So you need to remember the kind of questions that you need to answer. Okay. You won't have time to sit down and write out the form. So you're going to need to be able to talk, to do this live. So what are the questions we're going to ask? Who's calling? Well, the very beginning of the conversation, right? You know the date, you know the time. Who's the message for? And what's the message? You don't really ask somebody, is this urgent or low priority or is it you know, confidential? You kind of guess that from 
the message that you take. If somebody says it's very confidential, then of course you mark that. If somebody says it's really important, really urgent, then you mark that. Be sure you get somebody's phone number. Now this particular memo telephone message, we don't see a phone number. That's kind of dumb. going to take a telephone message, you probably want to find out how to contact them back. So, so, uh, uh, so, Mr. Jones, and so what's your phone number? And he says, oh, Robert knows it. Think, well, please, sir, just for convenience, can I get your phone number? It's much better to ask. Okay, so a sample dialogue script is attached. By the way, because I am the editor, sometimes the location of my documents is a little bit different than yours. You might find it at the bottom or whatever, but the attachments are there. So take a message. Here's a script, a sample, and we're just going to open this where I just click. Open it. Now, unfortunately, because I opened it in Notepad, I can't make this bigger. But you can download it and look at it. So answering the phone, taking a message, sample dialogue. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, Daegu City Hall. This is Kim Kyung Min. How can I help you? Okay. So as we mentioned in the book, the book, the book, remember the book, in book two, unit four, Page, what was it? Page 10. This page. Um, you want to identify who you are and your company. So, hello, Daegu City Hall. This is Kim Kyung Min. Or maybe you might, might say, hi, this is Kim Kyung Min with Daegu City Hall. Something like that. How can I help you? Hello. Hi. Can I speak to Mr. James Lee in planning, please? Or maybe he knows an extension. I'm sorry, Mr. Lee is away from his desk this afternoon. May I take a message? Yes, please. Okay, so I pull out my form. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, what's your name, please? Charles White. Mr. Charles White. If I don't know how to spell his name, maybe I ask how to spell his name. Thank you. And your telephone number, please. My number is in U.S. Area code 213-576-8700. Yes, Mr. White, let me confirm. 213-576-8700 in the U.S.? Yes, that's right. Okay, so you notice that maybe I read the numbers back a different way, but that's not important. The key point is... I read numbers back so he can make sure that I wrote it down correctly, that I heard it correctly. Otherwise, I might make a mistake. Yes, that's right. Mr. White, may I know your company name? I'm with Excelsior Traffic Systems in Los Angeles. Pardon me? Excuse me? I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Excelsior Traffic Systems in Los Angeles, California. Can you please spell that? Excelsior. E X C E L S I O R. Traffic systems. Thank you, Mr. White. I've got it. Do you have a message for Mr. Lee? Yes. Please tell him that I've sent the samples by express mail. And I will send him an email with the details when I get back to Los Angeles next week. Okay. Yes, Mr. White. Package sent by Express Mail. An email will come next week when you're back in L.A. Anything else? That's everything, I think. Okay, Mr. White. I'll give him the message when he gets back. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Click. 
So then we can go back and look at our pink form and see what we got. For, who's it for? Mr. Lee. The date and the time, I let you do that live. Who's it from? Charles White of Excelsior Traffic Systems. His phone number? Well, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We got his phone number. US 213-576-8700. No fax, no mobile, no email. We didn't talk about that. So we could check box that he telephoned and basically the last thing might be special attention or something like that but he didn't ask to call back he just said I've sent the samples by express mail and I'll send an email with details when he gets back to LA next week okay and that would be one sample of a taking a message and then for the test, I would say, okay, Kim Hyun Min, for your test, who's the message for? Mm -hmm. Date and time, okay, okay. Who's the message from? What company? What phone number? What's the message? Ding, ding, dong, good job. All right, and that is what I want to do for this. Now you can check on the internet, you can find lots of different online uh, take a message kinds of exercises and recordings and scripts and again there's no one perfect way to do it. The key point is to be courteous and kind, ask questions, take the notes that you need, get the information and finish nicely. Thank you. That's the end of this recording.